What's up, bestie? I am so proud of us because not only have we been dancing for a whole year, we also went through the Arabic alphabet for the first time, like the entire alphabet. I'm so proud of us, okay? We are learning, we are growing, we are exercising, we are thriving, okay? Um, and I will continue um, my Arabic lessons and my Arabic content because I did realize that a lot of you guys follow me for my Arabic content and I appreciate you guys. I do want to say, however, I feel like this book, Mindset, will be great to have like the knowledge of it before we continue um, learning more Arabic because it literally, like the core of this book is... Um, telling us the difference between a fixed mindset and a growth mindset and a fixed mindset is kind of like telling yourself oh I can't do this or I have limited intelligence blah 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 right it's like you think that you can't do it if you can't do it on your first try you believe like you can't do it and we 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 might have it's okay if we we have a fixed mindset we can convert it to a growth mindset to think okay this is hard but I can eventually do it with enough practice. And that goes the same for dance. Like if you're following me for um, like, you know, like all the dance content, it goes the same for anything you want to do in life. If you have a growth mindset, you don't get it from your first try, your second try, your third try, your fourth try, you will eventually get it. You know why? Because just because. Because practice makes perfect. That's what I was going to say, but practice makes progress because none of us are ever going to be perfect. So that's the book that I would like to read. And I know I tried to read a book on here before, um, but it was making me sad because it was called Single on Purpose. And this girl is not single on purpose. Um, but yeah, so did I show you guys the book yet? I will be reading Mindset on here. So tune in if that is something you want to like read. It's a pretty dope book. I've read it before. I just want to share it with you guys. Like if I love you, you have a copy of this book. Um, If I love you and I think you read, you have a copy of this book. But I know how hard it is to keep up with reading with all of our busy schedules. So I'm going to read you your bedtime story. It just happens to be an adult bedtime story. So I love you guys. And pray for me, pray that I actually get through this book this weekend because whew, you're still learning together. Love you guys. Busty side note, while I was reading this book, I have butchered names and words. And I'm frustrated with myself, but I made a promise to myself when I first started this page to um, show you guys my imperfections. And apparently reading out loud is one of my imperfections. Like, I speak two languages, but like when my I see the word, I haven't read a book in a long time, okay? Cut a girl some slack, so. Whew, here's the beginning to posting. Me reading you your nighttime story.